Hi, mambo vipi? Naitwa Kian, karibu kwa FXB University Channel. In this video nitakuonyesha how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool in a light way. I know this is a most requested topic about how to use Fibonacci, jinsi ya kusoma price movement, jinsi ya kusoma price action, how to have some entries like no, we don't have perfect entry, we have good entries. So I will show you how to use the Fibonacci tool. Like in the end of the video nitakuonyesha jinsi uh, na tuna predict two pairs ambayo itakuwa ni GBP JPY and the USD JPY. All these pairs ziko na good 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 opportunities in the coming week. We literally capitalize some most kwa GBP JPY to make capitalize takriban 2200 with elite members. I have to remind you that kama haujajiunga na elite membership, make sure you join. Nimeacha link kwenye description ya website go to our website and enroll right now because you are missing out the reason why because babu first trading is literal you can you can make money in your fund if you have the skill come how can a skill you cannot make money let make sure you learn learn in a light way villa mavuna is a capital in the first market if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe I don't forget, don't forget to hit that like button because by the moment you can hit that button, una convince the actual YouTube algorithm it will convince the other new viewers. Quote of the day is about trading. Now, the summary here, quote of the day, ili unezuka, you can learn something here. Trading maturity is when you fall in love with competing with yourself. Let me repeat it. Trading maturity, trading maturity is when you fall in love with competing with yourself. With competing with yourself. I know uh, at my age, I'm a kama ni beginner or intermediate one. I'll come out there and answer to succeed when you first market. You will be competing with someone else. That I want to be, uh, I want to to be like this person. But unakuwa na ile jealous kwamba, not just like to be like someone else. Unakuwa na compete nae. Well, trading is not like that. Trading, you compete with yourself, with yourself. You are you are in a you. Okay. So imagine kama ni kipo na trade then na compete na mtu flan. I will literally be taking trades in Amazon unnecessarily. I'll be entering multiple trades without risk management, without uh, going through my goals, my vision, and everything. And remember the other thing, okay, upon a competing am to flan, utakuna taka win, well, we look at zero steps. Well, trading is not like that. Trading, you have to go through process. So you don't want to jump some processes, okay? So, okay, una trade, okay, and the ones new B. Uh, you are still intermediate. I don't think this it matters uh, when you compete in to flan because babu he ni biashara mbayo mimi ni kipata hai kuzui we pia kupata hata we kipata hai ni zui mi akupata mimi kupata sio kama biashara ya 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 kaliako ama ubungo ama kama ni kiyapo na biashara ya spare hapa na mtu mwingine yuko na biashara ya spare hapa kwa mba ya kiuza mimi sitauza it's not like that for is all about ni inamzunguko a takriban 5 trillion US, US dollar 5 to 7 trillion US dollar per day kuna mzunguko wa yela so which means uh, out of 7 trillion US dollar mimi tu nikipata dollar dollar 500 dollar 1000 dollar 1000 at amna mtu ambaye akisema kwamba atachukua yela yote usipate so trading you need to master this one okay Make sure you compete with yourself. Don't compete with anyone. That's why I mean, once you can put a semi yote, na ji linganisha na trader, na trader yote apa apa pumina ka. I just deal with my own business. Okay. So this is a quote of the day, and make sure it sticks in your mind. Okay, it has to stick in your mind. Uh, pass through processes. Keep on vibing. Eh? Keep on vibing. Have that vibe to keep on improving yourself day after day. So let's see on the charts. Nidaza na topic ya kwanza ambayo itakuwa na na how to use the Fibonacci retracement in a light way. And the other parts itakuwa na usiana 
analysis technical analysis on gbp jpy so make sure you hit that like button pia angalia until the end don't miss out see you today just so lesson one it was in a one the first lesson it a queen also how to use the fibonacci tool fibonacci tool ni one among uh tools kama ilivo trendline kama ya silivo uh kama silivo the other tools kama zones so hizi hapa ni tools ambazo zinakusaidia kwa ajili ya kujua uh, market direction they are not indicators inabidi ujue kutofauti kati ya tools and indicators so hii ilikuwa ni gbp jpy baadaye tutakuja kuiona ambao we literally capitalized this move na elite members as i said in the previously you need to join the elite uh, community this was gbp jpy ambao tuli predict light away uh, and tumeza capitalize takriban 5200 na kitu and also this one right here and the other pay ilikuwa ni USD JPY so USD JPY actually to the predict move and it also happened let me show you it was USD uh, USD JPY by refresh tutakuja kuziona baadaye uh, in the next uh, part ambo i will show you vile ambavyo tunaziona in the next coming uh, week ili uweze at least na uweze ku capitalize some more so this uh, this was gbp checkpoint very short yeah yeah in the gbp checkpoint so to predict him of and reach for it to go on faida a uh, pepsi 250 so you see 250 nataka monge tumia loss size 0.0.1 talino dola 300 so yeah, just for nothing now in this video tuanze na first part so first part itakuwa inahusiana na how to use fibonacci now fibonacci tool as i said ni one of the tool ambayo inakusaidia kujua price movement now price movement au market market movement inabidi unajua price action okay inabidi unajua kufanya price action and all that kwenye trading view kama hujaangalia the last video ambayo ni on share how to set up the trading view kwenye mobile now you need to check it out but for this nitakuwa ni share how to use it kwenye trading view mkono wako wa kushoto utaona hii pano hii along hii pano kuna hii kipat cha kwanza hiki ambacho utaziona hizi ndo tools zote ambapo kuna fibo na retracement kuna trend uh based uh, fib hii ni fibo extension was it to me alafu kuna hizi tools zote hizi tools ni nyingi sana so just choose your your tool ambayo unaitumia so person who wanna natumia fibo na so hii fibo na ji ndo nitakuonyesha jinsi ya ku ya kuitumia uh, hii pano was pending kuiona so just switch it out now yeah huwa napenda kuona uh, chatangu iko hivi now um, so if you bonaji tool iko na 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 measurements okay so kabla measurements nataka ni display hiki kitu ambacho post beginner ukakusaidia nimetoa kwenye ebook ambao ni uh, elite members now fibonacci retracement tool as i said fibonacci tool uh, it it helps you to know exactly where the collision and the impulsive move ends in a normal market structure we used to predict the entry entry levels and exit levels so along the fibonacci inakuwa na measurement levels ambazo uh, ni kama um, entry level and existing level these levels does not act kama support na resistance so one of the key positions as i said fibonacci tool has the key level where sometimes uh and act as support and resistance at that side now act as support and resistance a retracement level is measured by percentage so is measurement is support and resistance inaweza kuwa measured in terms of uh, percentage levels ambao ina msaidia trader ku gauge volatility same ambapo itaanzia so where the actual volatility itaanzia na wewe ndio unakuwa sokoni okay so i don't want to go deep when you hear ebook Uh, let's see on the live chat so his measurements zinakuwa ziko measured in terms of where retracements zitaanzia 
na where the uh, existing utafanyia so along is a uh, 61% and 27% is in the points ambazo tunazita ni uh, existing points ama same ya kuchukulia tag profits alafu pia along uh, 50% na 50% alafu kuna 61% as well is in the levels ambazo tunazitumia kwa ajili ya kufanya entries so inabidi o master the actual Uh, trading price action ambayo inakuwa formed along easy levels ilupa ili ujue kwamba okay market alisha existing and all that pia inabidi uwe aware na actual uh, market structure inabidi pia ujue market structure so as i said market structure huwa kama ni uptrend ama downtrend huwa zinapenda ku form uh, is movement okay kuna hii movement ya kwanza ambayo tunaita ni uh, textbook textbook move ya kwanza We also have e move ya pili ambao ya pili sio textbook but ya price action inakuwa ina move in this way kuna kama impasse e correction i extend tena kuwa kama textbook maana yake high break na ku retest inaishia kujua We also have the other was the second move abo e second move inakuwa namna hii tunapata e impasse lakini e correction ina extend zaidi mpaka huko chini hata e impasse tena i load tena ina test highly test hapa ina extend zaidi mpaka huko chini in this way okay ambo some of the pairs ambazo zinafanya gau jinga uh, so inabidi usimaste pia kujue kila tabia ya kila market movements okay so hii move ya kwanza ambayo tunaita ni textbook the moment ukipata a uh, breakout in a market in a retest around there lakini the second one i market iki break structure ama ob obs i mean bos break structure price ya irudi tena ku retest around there inabidi usitambue ps pairs sana na hii same applies market structure ya ya hii appeal the moment market iki break around this level i irudi ten ina extend zaidi ku balance hii level ndio tunakuja kuita mambo market imbalance so i will literally talk about this topic in the coming uh videos so you need to stick around au pia nimeshare kwenye uh, kwenye elite course ambayo ipo online kule unaweza uka, uka enroll then ukaenda kujifunza now the, the third move hii move unaweza ukitumia fibonaji fibonaji retracement hizi moves huwa hazirudi tena yani hai tena ku retrace kwenye entry levels ambazo tunazita support and resistance. So kwenye fib easy levels ndo tunazita a uh, 50%, 61%. So most of the time price I load tena kabisa ku retrace hizo level. Lakini hii ambayo tunaita ni textbook. Textbook ndo price huwa inarudi ku retest kwenye is a uh, 50% na 60%. Hata take profit same applies inarudi ku test around there. Now hizi moves now jinsi ya kutumia hizi fibonaji unatumia namna gani? Unatumia namna gani? inabidi kwanza uzijue hizi retracement levels is market structure tali ushajua now is structure so hizi fibonaji jinsi ya kuitumia inabidi ufahamu namna hii works now always fibonaji tunaitumia katikati ya i don't think kama kwenye kama market itakuwa ina reverse you cannot use fibonaji so fibonaji is always um, directing you kujua E point C itakuja kuishia wapi na point D itakuja kuishia wapi. If you're using the Fibonacci tool, kuna kuwa na hizi measurement ya that said. So kuna hizi 50%, 61%. Afu kuna 61% and 27%. Is no most of time that me kama take profits. Now what you need to be aware about the Fibonacci tool inatumika kwenye ile market structure ya kwanza kabisa ambayo tunaita ni textbook ambayo itakusaidia kujua exactly market kisha break a certain level hii na act tena kama uh, kama resistance level uh, kama support level around this level so along this level window itakuwa exactly entry level yako same applies kwenye hii impasse impasse move the moment market it break ile level uh, always market inakuja tena kuli test kwenye hiyo level so which means unakuwa na hii point a then point B 
ambao ndio kama C na D ili upate the other level ambayo itakuwa na lilai tena kwenye hii breakage of market structure. Hii ilikuwa ipo ndio resistance kama point we break a resistance. So price itakuja tena ku test along this level okay? and price yetele all way up. So sometimes you keep ukiona nimepata sniper entries au nimepata just a good entry kuanzia kwenye tip na kwa either nimetumia Fibonacci au nimetumia concept ya demon supply and market imbalance. Na kwenye zile market structure ya pili ya, ya pili na tatu zile ndo watu tunatumia market demand supply and market imbalance ndo nizo kupata perfect as good entries from the tip. But for this demand I mean for market structure ile ya kwanza tunatumia. Inaweza ukitumia Fibonacci so so nice hata watu ambao wanakuja kutumia mambo ya break and test support and resistance wanakuja kutumia fib wakitumia tu fibonacci wanaona entries is the break and test now hizi twende tukaangalie practice tulichosoma nao tuangalie practice kwenye la richard ule na let me read this let me read this oh, i can read that. Okay now can you let chart now let's see ile kwa ni GBPJPY now let me show you when you here um ile kwa ni USDJPY so see USDJPY when you in it to our time frame let's go on a market structure and about to go for now let me move all these points market structure and about for now ile kwa ni uptrend just from the other time frame so on to go on a impulse in correction then let me Draw it nice so that it is not confused. So solve this first one, and then correction, impulse, correction. Oh my God! Then when I impulse, I'm so happy. Stop one, two, impulse, correction. Then impulse. Then this is a correction. Then impasse, then correction, then impasse. Now you see this market structure I'm about to have right now. Yep. Now let me show you where my Fibonacci is applicable and where Fibonacci is always applicable. Now we have this first part. I'm about to hit the black house market structure. As you can see, almost the retracement high could have been a good support. It is here with you. So. Hapa tunakuja kutumia mambo ya other blocks and all that. Unaweza kutumia. Same applies kwa hii market structure ilipo break around the UC market never turned around this level. So kama ulitumia Fibonacci which means high could turn around there. You also have this uh, level eh market ilipo break and then it got extend to ndo mambo ya demand supply. So what I'm saying is Fibonacci retracements una inakusaidia ujue the actual retracement levels but haimaanishi pia utakuja kuitumia it oftenly yani kwenye kila pay so kila pay inakuwa na uh, the actual uh, price movement okay so kwa sababu kama hii mtu ambaye alikuwa anasubiri entry around the hakuwa anapata entry but i come on to me the other com, the other scenarios kama around this level maybe kuna kuna other blows and all that unaweza kupata entry ama demand and supply and all that okay Maybe ni kuonyesha kwenye GJ, GJ kwa sababu ndio ilikuwa ipo na pray out all this market structure. GBPJPY. So, you see, kwa mfano hii GBPJPY. And see. He entry along this level. Hapa ambo ilikuwa our actual zone. Kwa hiyo na hii impulse and then hii ni correction. Hata mtu ala ambaye alitumia Fibonacci exact hii extend. Also, we also have this the first this a impulse in correction to alipata entry impulse the in correction the upper time ah uh, and entry let me show you how now you do at a hini toy now you at a hini do it and also i can do it this and also i can do it this same as i could do it here now unaweza kuona hii ilikuwa ni clean clean impulse hii ndio ilikuwa first impulse ili break hii market structure and then it extend 
We also have this impulse and then it extend. Now, our first point, first point in a quantity of and the first point because of the impulse points here now. This is your A and this is your B on this level. So, utakuja ugundua kwamba take profits ambao ni 60%, 61% na, na 27% zina extend, zina kuwa zina fikia. And same applies is along the 50% na 60% ndo hii correction. So, which means ulikuwa na hii entry ambao ulikuwa around the then boom. Hiyo ndo take profits. So, unzo kaona price ambavo ili move vizuri kabisa mpaka take profit yako. So ili kwa ndo ile textbook ili break na kuja ku test them. You also have this one. Uh, so which means hapa A yako inakuwa ni hii na B yako inakuwa ni hii. So ngoja ni treat hii hapa. Also have to treat this it is changanya. So this was the first point and the second point ni around this level. Ah uh, hapa. Oh first point then and the second point as you can place it will break i live break you make previous uh, market structure il kuja tena ku retest ndo pi ka form ika retest kwenye 50% na 61% so this was your entry level and take your profits next let's as level along the 27% and 61% so this is reason why we are doing here it trade il kwani textbook okay you have to differentiate between textbook and the other market structure. So this is a face market structure ambayo nimependa ni share na nyie. But the other multiple unaweza utaikuta kwenye course kule ndio unaweza kujua how to to read the actual market market structure. Okay? So this is a first part about the how jeans ambavyo unaweza ka um ukaelewa ukasoma vizuri kwa kutumia Fibonacci retracement. Now the other part ni kuhusiana na all about market analysis and bone ya gbp jpy and usd jpy so see you to the next part now here pando second uh but i'm going to see another technical analysis ya gbp jpy now gbp jpy in a higher time frame and bone uh one way Actually to predict a move when your previous video ili ambao to discuss about uh, GBP JPY. If you have not watched that video nenda uangalie actually tutajifunza kwa ni to predict a price movements like this. Now tuliweza ku mark support and resistance the actual levels ambapo price movement itakuja ku tap on the next move. Now kwenye hii GBP JPY kama tumeweza ku break around this level tumekuwa to consolidate kwenye hii move. Now the next step when you have time frame ni when you this level here. By the way here pa ni weekly. Now next step kama ni huko which means you have to be looking on the buying opportunities kuni GJ. Sita ongelea kuhusiana na fundamentals how the villain was the play out but technical ni tupo kwenye bullish strong strong bullish kwa sababu tal to shatoka kwenye hizon and all almost in the price ilikuwa iki kiritesti, kirijekti and all that and the first part here to shut off kwenye hii level now tunategemea within this week tunanza kuchezea kwenye hii level here along this level now maybe kwa sababu hii ni weekly candle and it's almost causing like this one so on the next place movement if you close along that within this level which means tunanza kuangalia a retracement so retracement you have to lead the price action could your retracement ta kuja ku share up kwa kutumia either uh, tools ambazo kwa kwa zinakuwa ni favorable na kwenye lower time frame ambao ni kwenye 4 hours let's see na kwenye 4 hours ta kuwa kwenye this move or this market structure let me do see all this let's go to the next one for for us for the better understanding ta lu shadua the general price movement and you also need to be aware about vile ambavyo price price movement ambazo ambavyo zitakuwa so for this we may see we may see price maybe uh it will close in this way uh itakuja ku test around this level and trend all the way up you need to play with price action vile ambavyo itakuwa ina ina cheza kwenye ticket kwa sababu always uh, GBP JPY in a respective price action in a right way. 
hasa pale ambapo pia fundamentals na respecting then GBP JPY is mostly respecting price action. So whenever price action is formed then inakuwa ni rahisi hata kwa wewe kujua where price movement is takuja to play out. Now this is GBP JPY in a general. Now we have to see the deep bullish move around the up. The other one ilikuwa ni USD JPY. Now same applies kwenye GBP. GBP JPY, USD JPY tulifanya analysis yake same applies kwenye the other videos ambao tunaanza kwenye uh, kwenye week kwenye weekly time frame. Now let's see. This is one week. Now kwenye one week almost it tuko kwenye bullish momentum. Now in a bullish momentum dali tuna ludi kuja kutapi our our actual levels ambo you have to see it in the monthly level. Okay. So anza kuona to refresh. Hii yote ilikuwa ni correction ama ambo tal shatoka around that level and the previous resistance level ambo ndo hii ni almost tal sha break. So we are breaking the market structure. The next setup ni around huko juu, okay? So hii hapa ni monthly level. Let's see kwenye one week now in a weekly which means daily tunakuja ku kuchezea kwenye hii zone around this level and almost the weekly candle ina close to kwa ndani hiyo zone so you need to pay attention kwenye lower time frames kujua how exactly how price ambayo itakuwa ina retrace kwenye hizi important key levels okay yeah um, so kwenye hii kitu Just stick around for kuangalia price movement how price action numbers now performed along this level This will be very very important price action kwa ajili ya ku tap uh, So what about the position traders and swing traders they are looking for uh, for selling for buying opportunities in the other the up level Lakini yote ni kwa sababu ya ya hii basket uh, the yen now you, you need to stick also kwa strength ya yen kwa sababu strength ya yen ina determine a movement ya his base okay so i hope kupitia hizi tips ambazo nimeshare na wewe possibly zitakuwa zimekusaidia now you need to dive yourself into the chart kwa ajili ya kujua the next price movements Now I'll see you to the other videos and I'll be dropping some of the tips and possibilities that could help. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to share with your friends. Same applies. Don't forget to hit the comments below in the next video natamani wewe video namna gani. So, see you.